What's up y'all? Welcome back to Accident. It's been a minute since we've actually been in this game. But if you guys do recall, we played a game called Plane Accident Simulator or something like that. Or Plane Accident something. And it kind of got me wanting to get back into this game. So here we are at our desk. We're going to go ahead and look at the accidents. Now uh, we have completed this one. There is a cliffside accident. Uh, we've actually completed quite a few. One, two, three, four. And supposedly there is two more. But this one is a cliffside accident in France. Happened in 2014. And uh, there is th four victims. Let's go ahead and start the simulation. Alright, here we are in France in 2014. Got a nice looking uh, car we got over here, man. Very cool looking. We got some glitching going on back there in the mirror. But that is probably just the mirrors itself. Looks like we got an overturned vehicle that landed on top of that vehicle. Let's go ahead and call the emergency services. Turn on the hazard lights. There's our cell phone. We'll go ahead and call the emergency services. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and put out the fire. I believe we got a fire. We do. Fire extinguisher in the trunk. Oh, there's three vehicles involved. Uh-oh. That tree looks like it's about to fall. Oh, we failed already? Alright, let's get out the vehicle. We'll secure the car on the edge. The car from falling and extinguish the flames. Driver door is too dangerous. Okay, like do anything to hop in the vehicle? Oh, 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 oh. Alright, well, I'm not exactly too sure what I'm supposed to do. Because I can open the trunk of the vehicle, but that's about all I can really do. I can't climb into it or nothing. That's too dangerous. Maybe I can go around? No? Okay, I was supposed to put the stones back there. That makes a lot of sense. Fourth time is the charm. Go ahead and secure the vehicle. Open the trunk. Put you... Come on. Get off the phone. We got stones we gotta put in this vehicle. How is it stuck? Turn off the ignition in the vehicles. Turn off the ignition. That one apparently is already turned off. Let's go ahead and put out the fire. This car is pretty much engulfed in flames. Mark the accident location. We have to do that as well. Let's go ahead and grab our warning triangles. All the way back here. So one of these other vehicles must have a fire extinguisher in the back because uh, we ran out of ours. Uh, there's nothing in the back of this one. Let's try this one. Aha! Cool. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this car is definitely in flames. This one must have another fire extinguisher or something. 
trunk is jammed. How am I supposed to put out the rest of the fire if I don't have any other fire extinguisher? Can we get her out? No, we can't. We'll put the other warning triangle out. Well, I'm not a fire extinguisher, so I'm going to need some help over here. Alright, so we got the car fire turned out. We'll go ahead and turn off the ignitions now. I had to literally go back in time and rewind a few times because I could not get the fires uh, put out. So let's go ahead and turn off the ignition. And we'll turn off the ignition in this vehicle as well. And now we have to go back and do all these triangles once again. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, we'll do our GPS so we can find the exact location. All right. Just so they know. Right, let's see what we got going on with her. Can you hear me? Open up her airways. I don't think she's breathing. I don't think she's... If she is, I don't hear anything, but we do have a wound and then a bruise. Yeah, she's not breathing. I don't think this guy's breathing either. He has a broken neck. Yeah, he's definitely not. They're the ones that fell off the cliff, so I doubt. He's conscious. So he's petrified. Try to help the man get out of his car. It may still fall at any moment. Come here, buddy. Let's get you out of the car. Alright, so now we just gotta wait for help to arrive. Alright, well, there's nothing else I need to do. Well, that was an easier one than I thought. I thought I was gonna have to go help the individual in that red car, but I guess not. Now we just wait for the rescue helicopter. There is the rescue helicopter coming down. That's actually a very cool scene, not gonna lie. Alright, so now we get to gather all of the clues and put the events in the correct order. So there's five different clues. We have a hole in the tire, an oil puddle which is irrelevant. We have impact point, skid marks, we got that first aid kit, we got the trunk that's open, we've got car debris, sedan falls from the cliff onto the street below, I don't know what that was, oh we can actually go up, that's cool. go down. I see skid marks over here. So we do have that he lost control of the vehicle. So you have yellow sedan drives over a large rock and blows a tire. 
I don't think there's anything else over here. Oh, that's all the clues. Okay, so we have the sedan that drives over a large rock, blows a tire, loses control of the vehicle. Sedan falls from the cliff onto the street below. Bernice crashes onto his car. And then Hugo brakes too hard and understeers onto the cliff's edge. That's got to be the uh, sequence. Hey, we got it right. So when emergency services were finally able to remove Ariane from the car, it was too late. She died when the car fell from the hill. Or when Bernice's car crashed into them a few days after the accident, she was buried by her family. Gulamine, when his car was rolling down the hillside, hit his roof so hard that he broke his neck and died instantly. Ouch. Despite losing consciousness, Bernice was not seriously injured during the accident, revived shortly after arriving at the hospital, and left it two days later. After that, she contacted Dubos and Kaplan families and helped them deal with their grief. They remain close friends to this day. Well, that's good at least. And then the fourth one is Hugo. Hugo took se several hours to recover from the psychological shock that he experienced when his car stopped just at the edge of the cliff. Incident triggered severe acrophobia, fear of heights that haunted him for the rest of his life. Fortunately, with the help of a local psychologist, he was able to avoid more dangerous consequences. Well, that's good. All right, well, we got this one good. Let's go ahead and end the scenario and let's see what else we got. He hit a large rock in the road, veered out of control, flew right... Holy Jesus. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a massive accident. Well, our phone's been ringing, so I'm just going to answer it. Finished three more cases already on your desk. So we have the street race in Tennessee. We've got four individuals again. Let's go and see what else we got. All right, here we are in Tennessee in 2004. Looks like we're going down some back alley. We're just a random bystander walking this time. We don't in a vehicle. We heard a massive motor vehicle collision. That looks like it's just in front of us over here. I'm not doing any other mount walking. The dude's walking by himself. We got a dude that's ejected. At, oh no, maybe he's not ejected. They might have accidentally hit him. We'll go ahead and call the uh, 911 or the 112. Oh, it's 991 here. I need to find a phone. Pay phone. Well, do let's go ahead and secure the area. Turn off the ignitions on the vehicles. Turn off. I don't know if these two were street racing or if it was just this guy street racing. Um, but we are going to open his passenger door. Get inside. And we will shut off the ignition from here. Let's go ahead and get out of the vehicle. We'll go ahead and mark the accident location as well. Trunk is locked. So from a ruptured radiator, doors are locked. So they don't have any uh, flares or nothing. Can I like unlock any of the vehicle's doors from in here? Trunk unlock button, there we go. Got emergency flares and a first aid kit that we will pick up. 
unsure where they actually want the flares. Ah, right here's one. See, this is different. We've never actually used flares before, so it's kind of hard to judge where they actually want them. Oh, we have to get them one by one, that's why. I was like, I don't see any other spots for flares, but we have to get them one by one. And then third one probably comes, yep, right over here. Check all the victims. There's four individuals. Champ, tap the dude on the shoulder. You hear me, buddy? Unbuckle that seat belt. Let's open up his airways. He's breathing. So this is Bethany. We'll tap her by the shoulder. I don't know if she can hear me. We'll unbuckle the seat belt. Open her airway up as well. I can't hear breathing, but it doesn't mean anything. Try to figure out where our exact location is. Go ahead and hop inside of this dude's uh, thing. We'll open. We got a wound. We'll have to unbuckle his belt as well. We'll open up his airways. He does have a giant wound. Doesn't sound like he's breathing, but that doesn't mean much. Got a wound, a bruise. And then we have the... Uh, possibly homeless individual who might honestly be deceased. Can you hear me, sir? Breathing barely. He's got a wound, a wound, and then a third wound. Check the exact location. Well, there should be like street signs or something that I could check. Yep, South Street. And then South and 8th Street. Pass that on to the dispatcher. I'm form CPR until the ambulance arrives. See if we can actually pull the dude out. This door is jammed. I don't think we'll be able to from here. Try to pull him out if we can. Where is he at? There he is. Put on the gloves. We'll open up his airway a little more. Put on the CPR mask. Put the mask on the victim. We'll do the chest compressions. Oh, we failed? Ran out of time. Let's go ahead and grab him out of the vehicle here. I don't know how we ended up failing, but we did. Grab the gloves, open his airways up, put the mask on, put the mask on the victim, we'll do the chest compressions. I think we have to do 30 of these. Hey, 
Hey, we got a new high score for CPR. That's cool. We'll do the artificial ventilation. We got two. We'll listen for breathing. Barely. I like how it's like a British siren, but yet it's an American, definitely you can tell it's an American ambulance. So now we have the shopping cart, hit by the sports car. Sports car is a clue, stops in the middle of the intersection. Impact point, that's not a clue. Oh. Cardboard irrelevant, which I kind of figured it would be. Irrelevant. And I see you see some skid marks, but I don't think it's a clue. Well, there are plenty of skid marks, but none of them are a clue. It's a completely unmarked intersection. Oh no, there's a traffic light. There's got to be something in one of these vehicles that's a clue. Just based an illegal street race. Alright. So, he participates in an illegal street race. He hits the hobo by the car. Sports car stops in the middle of the intersection, and the Hamptons car smashes into the sports car. Hey, I had a feeling that was the way it was going to be. In so addition to several injuries, crash broke William's left leg. As a result of his poor overall health, he immediately slipped into a coma. Health was so poor that he never recovered and died in the hospital four months later. Well, damn. Freddy, immediate assistance saved his life. Paramedics were able to revive him on the way to the hospital, where he was charged with causing serious injury by driving recklessly, which eventually resulted in a 10-year prison sentence. That sucks for him. Really does. Jason didn't suffer any serious injuries from the accident and was quickly released from the hospital. Soon became interested in Freddy Weaver's case, and some believe his testimony was the main reason for Freddy's unusually high sentence. Although no one was able to saw, find any solid evidence. So he is a lawyer. He was that definite lawyer in the uh, possibly thing. Or in the case. Bethany, like her husband, didn't cause any major injuries. Two weeks later, she was able to return to work as the mayor's assistant. Well, dang. Let's go ahead and end that scenario. And that is another one completed. So we have, it looks like three more, a desert encounter, a distraction, and a highway disaster that we are going to look at at a different time. That is going to go ahead and do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more of this uh, game. And uh, definitely let me know down in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll catch you later.